in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, I am the host of this internet ministry. I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty Black Dragon or Angel Snub Nub 7. I'm your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would like to send my respects out to Trayvon Martin's family and hopefully in this case some type of justice will come out of this most tragic situation. I want to take a few minutes to respond to my brother Harvey Superboy his video I forgot what the exact title of the video is but basically he was telling his audience that no one should tell him how to react how to react to what how to respond how to react when you are being attacked hey that's a rap like don't tell me how to react when I'm being attacked yo <laughs> Now the Bible says, because many of you, you're familiar with Christian teachings. Many of us, we were raised in the Christian church, sanctified, Catholic church or whatever, Christianity. We know that it is written in the Bible. It says that there is a time for everything. A time to live and a time to die. Y'all don't like the die part, do you? <laughs> yeah, you don't like that part. Now, of course, there's a time to be awake. There's a time to be asleep. There's a time for peace. And there's a time for war. Now, that's something you don't hear in many churches. They always talk all this love and peace stuff. But the same Bible that they claim they believe in also says an eye for an eye, two for a two. It said there's a time for peace, but there's also a time for war. And when you have these forces that come against you and you did not do anything except speak the truth, and I thought that's what y'all want to hear, is hear the truth. You want to hear what is right. You want to see people behave in a righteous manner. And they are being attacked. So if I'm at peace, then it's time to go to war. And if you are a Muslim, and you are being attacked, don't the Quran tell you. Don't it order the Muslim. It says, fight with those who fight with you. Allah will be with you. Be not the aggressor. So if only thing I'm doing is telling the truth, speaking my mind, I'm not bothering you. But here come these idiots that want to attack me. I have the right, according to the Bible, to go to war with those who break my peace. And in the Quran, Allah is with me because it says, since I'm not the aggressor, fight with those who fight with you. So don't tell Brother Harvey Superboy to chill out. Be cool. Because he's not the aggressor. He's just a messenger of the truth. Just like I am. A messenger of real truth. And truth hurts the wicked. Truth hurts the guilty. I'm guilty of many things. Brother Harvey Superboy is guilty of many things. I'm willing to take my punishment. I'm willing to accept whatever the consequence. But I would accept that and try to make myself better. These demons don't want to be better. They like how they're living. 
because what they're doing is exploiting others. But sometimes you have to fight. You can't allow these demons to spread lies on you. You got to go to war with those who are attacking you, who are the aggressors. I will give you a, sh a short example. Many of you know that I was committed to a mental institution for 10 years. Not one year, two, 10 years. And really the main reason why I was there that long was because I was fighting the lies. I did not want these people to paint me and put this lie on me. I would not submit to their lie. They wanted me to embrace their lie and say that I had some type of mental illness and take their fake medication to support their lie. I refuse to take their fake medication. I refuse to accept their lie. So they decided to try to hold me, incarcerate me the rest of my life. But you know something, when you're standing for the truth, when you're standing for what is right, when you're standing for justice, then I'd rather be incarcerated, I'd rather be dead than live a lie. And some of y'all walk around in fear. You walk around with question marks because you don't know what's going to happen. Because you are cowardly and you submit to the lies and you submit to these unjust laws and unfair treatment in this racist society. So I decided to fight them. And although it took 10 years, when it was all said and done, from their courthouse, not my courthouse, from their courthouse, a judge wrote plain, this man do not need medication. This man is not insane. So you have to fight for what's right. And so even they, by judge's order, admit they are liars. But if I did not fight them tooth and nail, and I don't have no weapons, see, I understand cowards. I'm not the bravest person in the world. I don't claim to be brave. Nobody... Nobody wants to lose their life. Nobody wants to get shot. Nobody wants to get stabbed. Nobody wants people calling them names on YouTube and making all these kind of uh, silly videos and death threats and all that. Nobody wants that kind of stuff. But I'm going to speak the truth. I have to. Your main example, Christian people, was Jesus your main example was Muhammad. If these are your examples, then why are you running away from the wicked instead of taking them head on? Fight with those who fight with you. You have nothing to lose. The nicer you are, the worse it's going to get. Just like Brother Harvey said. The reason why the black community has nothing, basically has nothing, is because we won't fight for it. We have become content, this generation. See, past generations had no choice. They knew exactly who the enemy was. But you are living in la-la land, some kind of fantasy land. Because many of y'all are dope fiends, sex addicts, drunks. You want to kiss white folks in the bootay. You're looking for some kind of favor from them. You're a coward. You fear. You don't have the knowledge of yourself. You're not proud of being of your community. There's nothing wrong with the black community. The only thing you have to do is build on it. You don't want to build. You'd rather go help some rich suckers help their community stay strong. 
Don't want to do nothing for yourself. You're filled with self-hatred. Satisfied with the scraps that they give us or the scraps that our ancestors was able to get from them. Not everything is la-di-da until you have a tragedy like Trayvon Martin. Trayvon was not the first and Trayvon would not be the last. And the sad thing since you won't fight for yourself is going to be your mother, your father, your son, your daughter, your cousin, somebody. You're going to suffer. Why are you going to continue to suffer this? And these people do that because they think they can do anything and say anything they want to black folks. Look, let me tell y'all something. It's good to be a peacemaker. It's good to try to live in peace. I tell you, when I was locked up, I tried to be nice to those doctors. I tried to be nice to the judge and, and all these folks. Just made things worse. Then, after I tried to be nice, they said, are you ready to take your medicine? Are you ready to be a good boy? Are you ready to be a good boy? That's how they view you when you try to be nice. You have to fight for yourself. I'm not saying it's easy. It's scary. But you got to do it for yourself, your family, your community, and our future generations. Somebody got to stand up sometime. I'm a little sissy. Listen to me. I'm a little sissy, a little coward. Run all my life, just running. Running, scared of everything. If I can stand up, you can too. Now, here I am a little sissy, but now I'm a vicious black racist. How is that possible? When I was a little sissy, running from you, letting you kick me in my backside, letting you do anything you wanted to me, I'm all right. But as soon as you stand for yourself, and fight all of a sudden you vicious you so full of violence they try to put the the abuser always try to swing the situation and put all the blame on the victim don't y'all see that let us not fall for that trick and unfortunately let me tell you i'm gonna bring this to conclusion unfortunately we should use all legal remedy, all type of peaceful means that we can. But when somebody begins to harm us physically, then you got to get with them too. You have to get ready for the physical fight. You can't let these suckers take your life and harm you. No more of that. No more of us watching our people being lynched, murdered, and we sit back and nobody pay a price. That's a bunch of bull. Just like the Bible said, a time for peace and it's a time for war. And in war, people die. Uh, I can't help, that's, that's just the bottom line. That's what happens in wars. Blood is shed. But when you show people that you're willing to get them off your back, They'll think twice before messing with you. Just like you'll think twice before messing with a rattlesnake or a skunk or even a cow that got horns because those horns will rip you up. You'll think twice. They have to think twice, three times, four times before messing with us. You should be fed up. Otherwise, all these rallies, and all this talk about Trayvon Martin is fake and it's hypocritical. That's the bottom line. And you'll be sleeping tomorrow. That's why I can't really get involved in it because the people, I know that you'll forget him within the next week. And I'm not like that. I'm here. I'll fight for 10 years if necessary. And you should too. Jot down your comments. Let's think about it. Brothers and sisters, we are at war. War was declared on us 400 years ago. Thank you for listening. This is the Black Dragon. Ah, this was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.